Who from us at five, a judge finding prosecutors have enough evidence for a grand jury to consider rape and sodomy charges against a Pritchard Police Department employee. The charges stem from an October complaint. Despite that, the defendant remains on duty. Our Brendan Kirby is working this follow up. Now, Brendan, Brian Lacey hasn't even been put on administrative leave. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lenise. He hasn't been put on leave and he also hasn't been fired. Prosecutors say that's unusual. Chickasaw police arrested Brian Lacey in November after investigating an allegation made by a woman. Since then, Lacey has continued to work at the Pritchard Police Department, where he's been employed for years. His lawyer says he's been working toward his police certification and in the meantime has been patrolling with police armed with a taser. Mobile County District Attorney Keith Blackwood tells me it's unusual for a city not to fire or suspend employees who have been charged with serious criminal offenses. I've seen other agencies uh, deal with this, you know, this exact type of situation in ways that I would think more appropriate uh, than uh, what Pritchard Police Department is doing. Uh, frankly, it does surprise me that uh, he is still employed. But defense attorney James Byrd says he believes his client's current employment status indicates Pritchard authorities consider the allegations suspect. They've looked at the allegations and the entire circumstances and they don't believe them either. Chickasaw Police Officer Jacqueline Bittner testified that the alleged victim and Lacey had had a prior sexual relationship and that she blocked his cell phone number on October 28th. But she let him in her home in the wee hours the next morning and gave him a back rub, according to testimony. But Officer Bittner testified that when the woman declined to engage in sexual activity, Lacey raped and sodomized her. Bird says the woman lashed out at his client because she was upset he didn't want to date her exclusively. This is not a rape. What? This was consensual sex. And then, because he didn't follow through and get rid of other girlfriends, things go to hell in a handbasket. Pritchard's public service director said that he'd look into Lacey's employment status, but I haven't heard back from him yet. Now, the judge in this case had given Lacey the permission to carry a gun while he was at work, but he says that he's going to rescind that unless Pritchard can provide documentation that he has been certified as a law enforcement officer. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.